Dawn Trail is around the corner and you are maybe wondering how to make gills out of the release or pre-release of the game. The Mataya market is always big and the most common thing people will tell you is that you will have um, to raise your spirit bond with your items either you are playing with crafter gather or any battle job you will want to do your spirit um, spirit bond and try to get new materials because don't try will come with materials of rank 11 and 12 so you will want to farm them and sell them most likely the materials will go around 20 or 30k um, either for the rank 11 or 12 uh, there is also the market of older materials because you, you, maybe you know that when you want to pantameld your here, you will require some lower tier materials if you want to min-max your stats on your items. Until the game is updated, we can't, we can't know which stat is prioritized and which material is the best. Buying some, if you can, is not so bad. But the problem with material market is that it is very competitive and people will... Um, a lot of people will try to sell some. If you want to do to go for the material market, there is Mutamix. I already made videos um, in the past about that, but Mutamix is an NPC which allows you to exchange five materials for another one, uh, which will be of higher rank. If you uh, transmit five material of rank 10, you can get one material of rank 11 when Dantrail comes out. And so that's a good way as well to um, get new materials when the game release. It's expensive though, but still, maybe you can carry on with um, making materials that way and so making gills. Another way to make gills on the pre-release of Dantrail or even the release is to sell gear for Pictomancer and Piper. It's quite easy to do, you just have to uh, pick up some level 90 gear, not the 81 um, because it's useless to try to flip 80. But the gear level 90 is quite expensive still today with half a million for each piece on my server. And not just for Pictomancer and Viper, it could be also for other jobs as everyone wants to be ready for Dantrail. The price, however, will be dropping very, very soon after Dantrail release because people will want to gear up for level 100 and close to 100 by doing dungeon master. So it's a bit of a gamble to go for equipment. I would say don't go too much into that, but still there's some gills to get. Next, I will be talking about some changes that will impact the market, which is a double die. The double die system is pretty impressive, pretty needed and wanted by players, but also it will mean that more dice will sell because everyone will want to, die, to double die their gear um, the way they want to make new glams and stuff. So trying to get more dice and the ones that sell the most and stuff might be a good way to make gears. For example, um, the re ruby red die will, will go for 7k right now on my server and might raise, uh, rise sorry, for the Dantrail pre-release or release because people will want to die their gear. But not just their gear actually. And that's the next part of this video. As for system changes, we have housing system changes. Two main changes during Dantrail. One is not announced for 7.0 obviously, it's a number of items you can uh, place in your houses. They plan to add more to that so you have to stay tuned with the updates of the game. But for the double die, it, it is said that they will allow it for 7.0. I believe and so people will want to double die their housing items and so they will need even more dice. For the last part of this guide I will be talking about currencies, things that are farmable. Indeed there are a lot of currencies in the game and there will be more with Don Trail and obviously they come with the possibility to purchase things. If you forget about the guild you can already check for MGP so the currency from um, the gold saucer. It is not said that there will be anything exchange uh, exchangeable in the market board but still that's something you could look forward to but it's a bit late to make gills um, to make mgp other currencies are the nuts for example from the ants you can farm them every day with untrained during down trail it will be harder because you can't uh, visit other world so other servers during the beginning of down trail at least but there will be instances in the new areas so you will be able to heal at least um, 36 a rank and so get a lot of nuts or if they release a new currency for that then the new 
currency you will go for and that will be able that will make you able to exchange them both materials as well as material that will be used for craft that will be very expensive speaking of which you will also be able to gather more tombstones with a new kind of tombstone but as well as the poetics which can be exchanged for special materials which are needed for crafters and so very expensive. You will often as well see some party finder of people of crafter actually and trying to buy your tombstones to get some material to be able to craft more and they buy them for a lot of fields. Other currencies that you may look for is uh, PvP currencies with the wolf mark as well as a uh, trophy uh, trophy currency. It, it is not said that there will be any good items from PvP, but you can assume that there will be new items with PvP and maybe some that can be exchanged. So that's a good thing to have. Um, and lastly, and not the least, gemstone trader and so the bicolor gemstone from the Fates. Fates uh, became very lucrative in Shadowbringer with the bicolor gemstone system where you can farm Fate to get a special currency with which can be exchanged for different things. I think there are dyes, minions, moons, materials, and material you can get from bicolor gemstone ever since Shadowbringer. And so getting out to, uh, into that and trying to farm fate will help you make guilds as well by selling all these things you can get from only the fate store. There are obviously more ways to make guilds uh, in the trail and moving forward in the trail, but I really wanted to focus on a ge general mean for Guild making. Obviously, if you are a crafter or gatherer, you can make tons of gills by selling materials and crafts. Um, that's something you will want to look for as a crafter, as a main crafter. Some people are specialized in that, and I believe those that are specialized in that knows already how to make gills. My conclusion about that is really play the game the way you want. By doing so, even doing just roulettes, you can get tons of gills. That's not limited to things I told you right now. Uh, I told you many things focus on the market board, but you can make gills by doing your challenge log, bullets, and so on. So really, playing the game is a key for gill making. Before ending that video, I wanted to show you some images of me drawing the winner of the starter edition um, from the 20th of June. Um, so you can see that on the screen. That's the second time I take that video, so I forgot the name exactly. I don't want to um, miss early but you will see it on the screen. I thank you kindly for watching this video. Put a like if you did like, a dislike if you did not. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.